Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Uh, Y'all might be wondering what do I have this old nasty cracked piece of wood for? Well this was an old shovel handle. I cracked and I cut it off. Um, and I figured I'd repurpose it into something. Look at the, if you can see the grain. It's very straight grain. All I have to do is cut off this cracked piece and use this for something else. So dug into my toolbox and look at what I found. A little shingling hatchet. Uh, it's got a little bitty eye on it so I can probably use somewhere around here. Cut this off and make it a little new little, new little hatchet. A 14 inch handle, 12 inch handle. I'm not even making shorter. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and uh, put it on this neat little hatchet right here. Okay, so I don't know what the real formal name for this thing is. It's some sort of a profile gauge. It's got a bunch of little metal fingers on it that can move up and down. Uh, you can check the size of different angles and shapes and I guess draw it out on wood. But what I'm going to try to use it for is an easy gauge to see how I'm going to have to cut the handle thickness. So what I'm going to do take this and plunge it down and make it form so that'll give me my width of the eye so all I have to do now is scroll through until I don't have enough to cut come up a little bit and I'll cut it off and I'll use that to cut the kerf and hang that handle that looks about right right there I'll go ahead and take this finish off because it's pretty thick. I'll go ahead and start by uh, scraping it on the side of a file. Just kind of drag it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take off some of this old rust and kind of see what's underneath it, see if it's any kind of pitting or anything like that, and we'll see what's going on. Got this little buffer wheel. So I got this axe cleaned up a little bit, and I had to take my file and reprofile this edge because it had some nicks and things in it. And then uh, hit it on this coarse stone to kind of start the bevel. Then I kind of realized I got some old belt sander belts. So what I did was I sliced one off and found out a new little technique. Just figured it out myself. But if I this axe is small, so I can just take it and kind of push forward and backwards. And as I come up, I'm getting the the right bevel for the axe. And as I go along, I tilt it ever so slightly as I'm going up and down. So let's continue on. <laughs>
shaving shop. Alright, so I have the handle for this little hatchet right here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I, I kind of want to bring some contrast to the, to the grain right here, so I'm going to take this little torch and uh, burnish some of the open grain and see what happens. I'll just start off by warming it up. Eventually it'll it'll start to just kind of darken a little bit and, and char those edges. That's all I'm looking for is a little different contrast. See how that grain comes out? After I'm done with this, I'll sand it down a little bit and take a little bit of the edges off, make it smooth from the raised grain. Okay, while that handle's still a little warm, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it light sanding with the 220 and knock that raised grain from burn so let's see how it comes out boil into oil down in there so I went ahead and the old handle that had split and I just took a chunk of that and made a wedge out of that and I'm gonna cut it off hammer it in there it's it's sticking in there good now so I'm gonna go ahead and saw that off and finish it up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 